Hi, I'm Karen Brockney, and in this video on the Camera Raw Editor in Photoshop Elements, I'll show you how to use the Detail Panel to sharpen your photos and reduce noise in your photos. This video is part of a series on the Camera Raw Editor in Photoshop Elements. Let's look first at this image of chickens and roosters. We'll sharpen this photo in the Detail Panel in the Camera Raw Editor. The detail panel is located at the top of the basic panel. Click on the icon for the detail panel and at the top you will see a section for sharpening. Notice that there are already some settings in that sharpening section. These are default settings that come with the Camera Raw Editor. If you don't want any default settings, you can drag that amount slider all the way to the left you can double click it to have it return to its default. You can also in the preferences change the defaults so that there is not already some pre-sharpening when you come into this panel. But for now we'll keep it at 40. Let's look at the image when we increase it to 100%. And I'm going to go down here and choose 100% so that we can see it up close. I'll use the hand tool to move around and let's just look at the head of this rooster to see what we can do with sharpening. What sharpening does is increases the amount of contrast along the edges like along the top of the rooster's comb, all the hairs, all of these places in the image where there are dark pixels and light pixels right next to each other. The amount slider increases that contrast and as you go up you can see how much sharper the image looks. I usually sharpen the image between 70 and about 90. If I'm sharpening people I would keep that at around 50, 50 to 70. The radius is the amount of pixels that the Camera Raw Editor will look at for sharpening on either side of that line of contrast. Usually the radius is pretty good if you leave it at 1. Sometimes you might want to increase it to 1.2, but never more than 2. The detail increases the sharpness in the details. If I bump that up quite a bit, you'll see we've increased quite a bit of sharpness in the feathers and around the eye. I usually keep this one around 25. Masking is really helpful. What masking does is it leaves the areas of the image that are solid color and have no edges unsharpened so that you're only sharpening the edges and not the solid colors. If you press Alt and then click on Masking, you'll see that the screen turns completely white. As I drag Masking to the right, the dark areas of the image will not be sharpened, but the white ones will. So if you want to only sharpen the edges but not the solid colors, you can increase the masking to do that. Most of the time, I keep the masking on my images about 50. Let's look at another image so you can see how useful masking is. I'm looking at a ship right now. I want to focus in on this area around the flag so I'm going to click the zoom tool and let's just zoom in on that area. I'm at 81 percent. I'm going to increase that to 100 percent. Now let's go to the detail panel. I'm going to increase the sharpening to 90. So I can type in 90 to get there very quickly. I will keep the radius the same. I'll keep the detail the same. And for now, the masking is off. As we sharpened this image, we've sharpened these flags. We've increased the contrast around the edges in this flag. And we've got a lot of nice sharpening of the flag and the small flags but we've also increased the sharpening in the sky. And the sky is a solid color. Using masking is really helpful when you have a lot of sky area in your images. I'll press the Alter Option key 
then drag the masking to the right until we see that the sky is mostly black. The white areas in this mask are the ones that will be sharpened. The dark areas are the ones that will be untouched. And with this sharpening, we've sharpened a little bit of the edges of the clouds. We've sharpened all of the sharp edges in the flag and the small flags and the rigging. But we've left the sky alone. So our sharpening is confined to the areas that need sharpening and not included on the areas that didn't. Let's take a look at how to reduce noise in the Camera Raw Editor. I've opened an image from Old Sturbridge Village of a potter's hands. This image was taken indoors without a flash in a dark area. When you do this, when you take pictures in dark areas without a flash, you may see some graininess or noise in your photos, especially in the darker areas. Let's look at this a little more closely. I'm going to select the zoom tool and then click and drag to look at this area of the image. Let's increase that to 100% so that we can see it very closely. And let's just move around and look at his fingers and at the wheel. Select the detail panel and the noise reduction section is below the sharpening section. Notice that there is already some default noise reduction applied to this image. Color noise reduction is set to 25. If I bring this back to zero, you will see some little pixels of color that are all different colors. This is color noise. As I bring the color noise slider up to its default, which was 25, the color noise disappears. Color detail tells the editor how much detail to bring back and color smoothness tells the editor how much smoothness to apply. I usually leave this section just as it is because it takes care of a lot of the color noise all by itself and usually doesn't need to be changed. Luminance noise appears as tiny specks gray, black, and white and you can see the luminance noise in this section. You bring up the luminance noise, you will see some of that grayscale specks disappear. But as you do that, you will also make the image look a little more blurry. Luminance detail brings back some of the detail that you've lost. And luminance contrast adjusts the luminance reduction. And it tells the editor how much contrast to bring back. You may play around with these three sliders to get the amount of noise reduction that you want. Let's look at this image as we fit it in the screen. So I'm going to do fit in view. And this was the image after we've edited it for noise reduction. If I press P, you'll see what it looked like before noise reduction. If I show you the noise reduction again, you can see that we've lost a lot of the detail of his skin and his fingers and his hands as we reduce the noise. So you might want to bring that reduction down even further to bring back more of that detail. My suggestion for noise reduction in the Camera Raw Editor is use the color noise defaults that are there and you don't even need to play around with them. Zoom in to 100% to view and adjust the luminance noise, but be sparing in your noise reduction because noise reduction will add some blur to your photo and you may lose some detail. If you want to bring back more detail, you may want to increase the sharpening in the image. So let's increase the sharpening of this image quite a bit. We'll sharpen it to 100 and we will have brought back more detail in the potter's hands. If you like this video, please come back next week to see more videos in the Camera Raw Editor series of Photoshop Elements. Check out the other videos on my site and subscribe for more.